Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Robert Ron here. Back again in my series where I review the many armored tanks and armored vehicles in armored warfare. In today's episode, we'll be having a look at the BMD 1, the Tier 4 AFV. And let's look at those stats. So, since the BMD 1 is a Tier 4 AFV, I can be comparing it with the BMP 1P Tier 4 AFV. That rhymes, wow. Anyway. This fires uh, thin stabilized heat, and this fires heat, so uh, there's just a difference for you. But it's pretty much the same gun. Anyway, let's look at the differences. Penetration, 196, so you get about 4mm more pen, which is uh, amazing, clearly. You can see the sarcasm. Anyway, 324 damage versus 361, which is great for the BMP 1P. Dash minute, 3300 versus 3600, because the reload time is the same. Uh, hit points are 855 for the BMD one versus 1005, so much worse hit points. Hull is worse than the BMP. Uh, turret is almost it's the same. It is the same turret. That is mad. It doesn't even look like the same turret. Okay, so it isn't the same turret. This, is the, this turret is made out of aluminium. This turret is made out of steel. But it's got the same armor fitness. So, somewhat interesting. Uh, but it's got some turret modifiers that make it, make it less hardier than the uh, BMP. Anyway, max speed is 6.6 km an hour versus uh, max speed of 54 km an hour. 0 to 32 is 2 seconds, which is great actually, and, uh, versus a 2.21 seconds. Hold traverse, 43.2 degrees a second versus 48 degrees a second. Tanf large, 2.33, all round. View range. 425 meters versus 465 meters. Kind of an embarrassment there, since the BMD is faster and more maneuverable, I feel, than the BMP. But can depression on the front is minus four and minus three on the rear versus minus four, minus three, so the same. Accuracy spread is 0 0.10 versus 0 0.12. Aim time 2.76 seconds versus two seconds. And a tight is 56 degrees a second. Versus 38, so much better tight traverse than BMD. So, from the stats alone, you can see that these two tanks aren't very different. Uh, it's the same, same, pretty much the same gun. They fire different ammunition. Uh, uh, some somewhat the same damage per minute, somewhat the same armor, somewhat the same speed. However, the BMD much faster top speed and a better acceleration. But the traverse on the BMP is just better. Flat out. View range BMP is much better, so not entirely sure what to think at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look at the armour in more detail. So here's the BMD-1 from the front. Not much to tell you. Uh, the, uh, the, the turret's sloped. It's made of aluminium, uh, as we just found out. It's got an ATGM, which is interesting. Where, But the turret is easy peasy to bend. The front is sloped back and sloped downwards, so it looks like a boat. However, it's not amphibious. However, it is amphibious, but it's not in this game. Uh, in ca so, it's very light, but it hasn't got any armour. Side, tiny tracks. Look at them. They're really small. So, have a have fun trying to eat them. Trying to eat heat rounds with them tracks. Rear, big flat. Destroy the, the de engine with that. In the far in the back, so not much to talk about the armor. You know, let's have a look at some retrofits. So, the BMD 1 comes with two retrofit slots a universal slot and a mobility slot. Universal slot for most tents that I'd recommend uh, hit points, uh, most tents with no armor, pretty much. Uh, for mobility slot, I'd recommend probably I don't know, speed, probably max speed. I'd probably recommend because uh, if you have a stat that's huge, why wouldn't you why not make it bigger? Alright, let's have a look at some gameplay. Hello everyone, here we are in our first game of the BMD-1. Operation Prometheus. You remember that really long one. However, we are the fastest vehicle around. We will go do the secondaries, I believe. We'll bottle off for the second. We are going to bottle off. Go through the jungles. The we use four helicopters in this map. Destroy the objectives. The secondaries are four helicopters, so we'll just go do them quickly. Then we can loop around depth behind the enemy. So 65 kilometers an hour doesn't really go above that. I mean we're hitting fully 65 miles an hour or kilometers an hour. Oh. 
Where they take off? Where they take off? No, he won't. The bastard. No matter. We killed him. Johnny Dutch show. Good show. I can't. I can't really do a posh accent. However, many people say my accent is posh anyway. That's my favourite spot on this map. Ah, oh, straight after the uh, the first bit only. First, favourite spot for the first bit. If you're in a light tank, you can just come out the spawn, loop around this rock, and come down into the enemy, and then shoot them from behind. And when you're shooting complete heat like me, it's a good idea to come to there behind. One shot, one kill. We move on to the scorpion now. Probably not there to kill, nope. Right, then we'll just loop back up. There was an M41 spotted over there, which he's now, there's Pat Knightley now. He's down. Oh, I'm totally not waiting for them to kill him so I can get the kill. No, no way. I missed. What the f happened there? Where's he going? No, don't, don't, no, 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 no. No, oh my god, the aim's so good today. The aim is terrible. I'm falling down the hill. I think that should be the secondary's done. Still 55 seconds left on the clock. Or maybe one tenth to the life. There's the artillery. The artillery normally spawns out there on one of those islands. So, gun elevation. Uh, we're all in what, so it's kind of hard to see. But it's okay. It's pretty okay. You can hit anything pretty much. Gun depression from the front. It's uh, somewhat okay. Not the best in the world, but it's somewhat okay. 26 seconds on the clock. It's completely fine. Ooh. We should push up and actually I'm going to wait for... to see what the enemy does, really. I mean, we could push up and secure the cap, but we're gonna, I'm probably going to wait for the enemy to do something first. Make their move. One second. Here we go. Where are they going to spawn? Probably going to spawn over there, and down there, and down there. This is my best guess. However, nothing seemed to have spawned so far. As soon as I say that, why did I have to open my big mouth? Take all your damage, thank you. He's down. Took the 5 damage kill there. 671, turn up. Oh, BMD, BMP. We should have hide behind the M41. He's down. Saw tap behind us as a bagel. Ooh. This is not the best place to be in the world. 3 seconds on the reload. 5 second reload, so it's okay. No pen, no controller, BMP, trying to get the kill, I can indeed, enough damage to one shot him, can I, where has he gone, oh I'm, no penetration, what, so as you can see the BMD one somewhat uh, hard to kill, but not really, uh, fence, he's down, oh it's an M60, hello M60, what are you doing, I'm just going to shoot the the uh, thing behind it. That's a lot of kills, but that didn't actually get me kills. I think it's because I actually hit a Capola or the turret. Oh. Right, so it's not good and brilliant. Get, the way, get out, of harm, out of harm's way. Uh, leopard, side of the tent. Oh, that's all the tents killed. But three minutes on the clock, though, for, to, to defend the Tom Tower. So uh, more tents will spawn. Also, the sun seems to have peered into my room now, and I'm blinded. He's down, so I'm wasting the missile. I'll loop around, shoot the bagel, if he's still alive, which he isn't. Is that a Sheridan? Yes, it is a Sheridan. How do you see the Sheridan? Okay, maybe they, maybe they can see something. Maybe they suppose they were taller than me. Those bastards, no. Come on, come on! Oh my god, what happened there? <laughs> it's amazing! 
I'll definitely want to get the kill here. Ooh. Interesting physics. Hopefully in 0 0.17 they'll address the physics issue that I have with this game. Many efforts too light. Doesn't... I swear when I, when I played this for the first time it felt like I was controlling an actual tank and somehow the delusion of that has, uh, has gone away. I swear, where is the last tank? There has got to be a last tank somewhere. Let's start exploring. Well, we don't know down there for the next bit. We don't know exploring anyway, somewhere else. It's down here, absolutely nothing. Although stuff does spawn in the next part down here. It's probably the artillery that's still alive. We're the artillery from the Bedinian. There's normally an artillery that spawns on one of the islands up here. And I don't believe we've killed him. So he's probably still there. However, he can't actually hit us. So, oh, actually, my exploring has paid off. Um, thanks, thanks, teammate. <laughs> oh, damn it! Right, use our done depression up here, which we haven't got much. So I have to use the dip here down the slope. Without going, to, it's not the best place to sit in the wells. I don't know if you've played this map before, but if given the choice, I wouldn't sit there in an LA, especially in an LAV. Look at that! That's what the BMD's doing to him. Oh, there's another tank behind us. Okay, good. I actually just might go down there because I'm in a YOLO mood. Flat around the back. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Oh, it's time for me. Oh, there is artillery. He's down. Just don't flank around. It's not where they normally spawn, though, so one could spawn on top of me. Oh, I can't swim, although I wish I could. He's down. She's falling distance. Uh, T54, maybe. Bagel. Nope. BMD behind us. Just reverse. The very reverse is um, not the best in the world. It's actually quite slow. Hopefully, by the time we get there, someone would have taken the pot shot at him. I wonder if Sheridan has parked in front of my gun. Artillery is firing from the island where I talked about earlier. We have 1 minute 15 seconds left. I could go back and get the artillery. That's probably what I will do. You can see him arcing shots over the ridge line right now. Sheridan might have done for him. Might be able to take a slight... Head him off at the pass. Or not. All depends on my speed of my tent. Oh! What? Huh? <laughs> so, if that was an M109, this must be a default sticker. I'm guessing. What the f- Where is this bus? It's probably over there somewhere, but I'm gonna go look at the airfield. There's more stuff are spawning. Stuff is, stuff are. Nope, nothing in the airfield. Uh, probably just wasted some time there. She might just go to the, the, the spot where I think the artillery actually is. range hopefully get something please two seconds one second and unfortunately I couldn't do it okay I'll see you in the next game here we are forgot to press the record button but yeah you've missed like three seconds of the game so I'm sorry for those three seconds however we're back here BMD one second game somehow I no I didn't get the kill okay thought I got the kill there <laughs> very weird okay well not question frostbite I've made a kerfuffle of the... Oh, I'm not going to type anything. I will not drown your ears in pain with my typing skills. 
I'm sounding really poetic today. Oh, Bagel. Oh, there's a hill in the way. No. Ah. Oh. So all, all the tents are sitting on the hill, just shooting over and over. And what I like to do on Operation Frostbite is go up to this ridge as soon as possible. That allows uh, the tents that spawn on the ridge to be spotted instantly by the teammates and then shot by the teammates behind. And then you can also spot stuff in the uh, refinery as when they spawn, which is uh, now, I guess. Ooh. 285. I suppose it is my average. Come on. Yes, got a kill. BMD. It's like a pigeon shoot. Come on. He's down. M BMP1. Probably won't be able to get this guy. No. Nope. Sheridan. Three seconds. Nope. Didn't get him. We'll go actually get the second objective. Which is just a scout for our enemies. I think I found the enemies. Don't need to scout. Oh my god, was that a Sheridan shooting at me? No, that was a Scorpion. Okay, Scorpion didn't do much to me. He's fired again. It's fine. I don't I remember. I didn't actually show off the ATGMs in the last level. Oh my god, really? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's still do the set though. I'll show off the ATGMs a little more, like, more so in this game because it's a long. Longer range map. The secondary objective, all you have to do is drive into the circle and then stop completely. And you'll cap it. I've seen many people drive into it and then just drive around in circles. Then come out of it and say it's bugged. Well, it's not, you just have to stand still. Eastern Derricks. Okay, well, there's two places after the first part that it could trigger. The next part. And then this is going to be the Eastern Derricks, which is E9 area. Oh, Sheridan. I don't really want to get shot by a Sheridan. He's not looking my way. It's fine. I missed. I definitely don't want to get shot by a Sheridan. Oh, I got shot by a Sheridan. It's amazing that I survived. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Let's actually shaft the ATGMs. Well, we've got a tank in the distance. ATGM. Ready, fired off the top, aim to the turret, 428 damage, decent amount of damage, and he's down. So, ATGMs work uh, somewhat, pretty much the same as any other tank in this tent. However, it comes off the roof, so you can probably park behind stuff and shoot uh, fire off above it. Like, for instance, this thing here. Someone seems to have got the secondary objective, that's good. Now we can push on the main objective. <coughs> Sorry about that. Damage. Probably not going to get the most kills in this game. Get all the damage though. Oh. As soon as I say that, I get a kill. What you can do in the, with the ATGMs is because it's they're so high on the tank, you can fire over ridges pretty much. And not show your tank off. Oh. <coughs> I seem to have hit an oil derrick down there. Bagel Panzer hit me. Artillery's fired. It's better off if you can if I should just aim my shots this time. Bagel. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming in. High beyond my leopard 2 buddy. And that's him down. One minute left on the cap. I am actually gonna traverse the other side of the map. For the next objective, which will be that refinery over there, uh, A8 area, C8, C7 area. Well, this tank's very um, interesting. <clears throat> when it hits his max speed, it just can't go over it at all. It just feels really slow and sluggish. It doesn't feel like any other tank. Oh my good god! Uh, this is very bad. This is I, I did not expect this to happen. Um, fight through the, we can fight through the cracks here. Hopefully, they can't fire back. Although, we will have to engage them if they do come in front of us. It was sort of engaged brown pants mode. Or change of trousers mode. Oh, he's down. There's one more. It's Bagel. And so, we shouldn't really advance that far on him. Well, he's a very significant threat still. He's down. Artillery's still around, he's probably in the A6 area, 
Oh my god, 10p, that's bad, it's got an auto load up. 301, we get back into this dip. Should be fine. Oh my, that's bad. I remember where you could jump off cliffs and uh, didn't do any damage at all. Bagel is in the dip. I hit his gun, it seems. Oh my god, 9, hit the 9 for a. Plus there's an auto loader over here, it seems. Right, where is this auto loader? Does anyone see him? There he is. Oh my god, why did you have to stop? <clears throat> right, so Scorpion or auto loader? I'd rather go for the auto loader, but I can't really see him at the moment. So I'm gonna go for the Scorpion. Been spotted by the Scorpion. He's now down, so we're looking for the 10p. If we can make out his tracers, that was a, probably a hit on him. Well, we're loaded again, so we're looking. We're just looking for the tracers. There they are. We can see the, well, if you see the tracers, you can fire back to the tracers and hit the tank. Oh, he's over there. I think I saw that actually and missed. 325, left on 5 health, it's not the best in the world, got him, oh, secondary's actually been done, okay, decent, uh, being at bay door, I doubt I'd get the shot off in time, I did, surprise, surprise myself, BMD, nope, he's down, pack 90, I don't know if you see the top, oh wow, didn't even hit him at all, some interesting alarms going on in the tent at the moment. I can see the. Have to fire. Interesting. There we go. 340 on him. Maybe damage site. Damage his track. T92. He's down. And that's the game. And I'll see you in the sun. So that's been a quick look at the BMD1. A uh, pretty good tent, in my opinion. Uh, some bad examples there, but it's a pretty good tent overall. You sort of saw how the ATGMs fire. You can dip behind obstacles where your cannon can't normally fire and you can just fire straight over them. You obviously have to do that in third person view, however, because in first person view it, it won't work. You'll just probably go straight into the ground or the stuff thing in front of you. Anyway, done. Nice done. Fires some uh, fin stabilised heat rounds, which are, have a nice velocity, but I can't actually, I, I can't hit anything with them for some reason. Hopefully, in the, in the future I'll be able to, to hone my steels better on this tank. However, it doesn't seem like it's for me, but it could be for you. I've been Missiles of Ed 1. Please like the video, if you liked it anyway. And I'll see you next time.